so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put uh, a couple of spoonfuls of honey in there so we have a base on the bottom of it. Apologies if I'm not reading the chat, gang. Zach the Ripper, how are you doing on Sensor 2? Been a long time. How are you doing? Doing good. Doing good. Jar and honey. <laughs> yummy, yummy. And what's going to happen, the garlic is going to start fermenting in this thing. And every now and then we have to open up the jar and air it out. do I'm gonna take off this here I'll show you this little end right that part of it let's see if you can focus it I don't know if it's gonna focus that part of it right just take the end off so it's not the chunkiness there right just cut it off nice and clean Boop. in you go These are nice and chunky garlic. Alright, look. Nice chunk of garlic. Honey and garlic. Honey and garlic. Medicine. Boop. Uh, this, we're gonna, I've never done this before, by the way, with garlic and honey, but I've been meaning to for a number of years. Uh, same with my partner. And at the farmer's market, when we we're talking with uh, getting the garlic from the from these guys, uh, from the booth that they had set up they asked why we were buying so much garlic and we told them what we were doing and uh, the girl farmer that works at the booth uh, one of the people there she was like yeah yeah we do it as well uh, and we do it with uh, turmeric and uh, ginger as well and then every now and then if you feel 
a little bit of a cold, a little bit of a sore throat, a little bit of chest and you know congestion and stuff coming up, they open up the jar of honey and they eat a spoonful of uh, of the honey, and it's really good, right? And if you've been around, you'll know that. For me, one of the things I do, if I feel like I'm getting a cold or uh, or whatever it is, every now and then I go through periods where I eat pickled garlic. I just cracked open a new jar of pickled garlic uh, the other day and started eating some pickled garlic because pickled garlic good. I can show you that. Here, let me bring the pickled garlic. I'll show you what I bought with pickled garlic, right? I buy pickled garlic like this much. Take a look. Always have pickled garlic. I usually always have pickled garlic at home. And I won't bring it over because I don't want to spill. Like that, it gets black. And I sometimes take a whole, you know, bulb of garlic and I eat a bulb of pickled garlic. It's just my, my body loves it. It, it tastes good right uh, healthy and, and garlic's got major antibiotics and stuff like that yeah 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 you can for sure we'll be eating the garlic cloves as well 100 percent 100 percent right you're prepping uh, already i'll do the same yeah yunk for sure Being a, you know, I'm, we're not hardcore preppers. I wish we were, to tell the truth. Uh, but we would need more land space, right? So there's a whole layer of a bunch of garlic there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a couple of more spoonfuls of, uh, what do you call it? Uh, honey on there. Okay. this big enough. I want to put this guy over here. Ooh. <laughs> That's one thing with the chunks of honey, crystallized honey. It's easy to pick up. Okay, I'm gonna put more garlic in there. I'm gonna put more than what I'm putting on there right now because that's a fair bit of honey. Okay. Garlic is supposed to be good for the heart. Rafast. CTE honey is found in Egyptian cone 3000 year old and it is it's fine to eat as long as it's kept proper honey uh, pots and similar it will not spoil honey is not a problem in what you keep honey in yeah uh, it's from what I understand one of the first preservatives uh, that we had and then alcohol would have been another sugar salt uh, Joe on SensorTube, I'm finally watching Cold Game <laughs> last night. Super goofy, but I like that. Yeah, super fun, man. Super fun. It was super funny. There's some scenes in there that are laugh out loud, right? Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh eggs. Winnie the Pooh would be very happy right now, indeed. 
the original Winnie the Pooh. The and then Disney bought them out, right? So Disney Winnie the Pooh. Well, we ain't too woke here, so I don't think Disney Winnie the Pooh would be pleased with us. They'd be like, I don't know what they would be like. Nice garlic though, very nice garlic, very nice garlic. get what you pay for indeed there are amazing deals to be had but with food pretty important steel lord of iron i take whole cloves of garlic minced when i'm sick uh natural nature's antibiotic 100 percent. i've had i've made like garlic sandwiches in wraps and eaten those right Especially uh, if you get uh, chest, uh, throat, or ear infections, right? And garlic is definitely has the sugariness to it as well, right? Nothing beats garlic bread. Garlic bread is so good, so good. How I'm peeling the garlic, it, it, I, I don't even know if I'm doing it right, right? Elder God would know. Cheryl, how are you doing? Um, but what I do, I here, I'll show you on the next one, okay? I'll show you on the next one. You need a knife that's handy, like a little knife, okay? Because sometimes the skin just sticks on it, right? But here, what I do, I grab the garlic from this end right and i give it twist like this and then peel off right and as soon as i peel one side off right you get in there what i do depending on how the garlic is peeling i cut off the chunk right and then try to pull the rest of the skin off of it now this is only when i'm trying to keep uh, the cloves whole otherwise I take these, put them on the cutting board, and I squish them with a with a fat knife, with a cutting knife, and then it, it peels off super easy, right? So it really depends on. Uh, I'm doing the garlic correctly, Elder God. Thank you, thank you. It just feels the right way to do, right? Um, you know, I've heard about easier ways to do where you put them in a like a bowl and you shake it and most of it comes off i've ne i've seen people try that and it's i don't know it, it it didn't work too well from what what i saw <laughs> oh paprika lord of steel paprika as a paste for a sore throat and it goes with paprika i didn't think about paprika paprika would be amazing <laughs> that shaking shit don't work <laughs> yeah I've, I've seen people do all oh, this is great i'm like oh, wait a second man i don't know about this it's not that great miss balloon hands yuck i understand what you mean i believe that CT, CT on sensor tube. 
my wife hates me when I eat a a lot of garlic haha she can't handle the smell and of course i want a kiss haha tell her to eat the garlic too that way they don't the smell doesn't bother them i know people who are like oh i hate the smell of garlic i go man if you ate garlic you wouldn't hate the smell of garlic like you just eat garlic like what do you mean you hate the smell of garlic it's like one of nature's greatest foods it's like a superfood Like garlic and honey, really. Like two of the superfoods there are. Right? Nice. Temporary peace, Chicho. You naughty, naughty boy. Sounds like a good mac. Good mac and cheese. Uh -huh. I'm assuming that was the honey, honey. Is that what it was? Squish. <laughs> nice I'm gonna make this layer a lot of garlic uh, 57 willow on twitch food distributors like Cisco and Gordon foods sell large containers like yours uh, with nothing but peeled garlic and cloves one of my delivery guys would eat them uh, by the handful nice his breath was tough to take but he was rarely sick yeah and raw garlic uh stronger than cooked garlic for sure raw garlic is uh is very powerful very powerful right like one of the greatest things you could do with garlic like seriously take take a clove like this i'll cut this part off Take cloves like this, take foil or a container, put olive oil a little bit on top, right? With the skin, with the skin, right? Olive oil on top, a little bit of water. Um, I usually put it in a in tin foil, right? So I put it in tin foil. I put them in there like this, right? Put a little bit of water, a little bit of olive oil, close the tin foil, make sure it's airtight, sealed, and then you put it in the toaster, right? Toaster oven, turn it up, give it i don't know how many minutes um not long like 15 minutes 10 15 minutes bring it out you got roasted garlic it like melts it's so good so good like wow and that the taste on that is not very strong it's it's not like raw garlic it doesn't burn and it's amazing it's amazing you could put it on the grill too. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I'm gonna put a couple of more spoonfuls of honey in this. Okay. I wish I put more garlic in the bottom too, but we'll see, we see. Seven pillow roasted garlic is so delicious. Love to spread it on toast. Yeah, on sourdough. Oh, 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 so good, so good. Yuck, roasted garlic. I surprised. Do you suggest we roast in uh, bread or just it but just by itself, just by itself, and it becomes really like soft and spreadable and you just make your toast and spread it on top of the toast so good so good garlic with honey tim on sensor tube yeah 
I've heard it's really medicinal. And the garlic starts fermenting and it gets the flavor gets into the honey. I've never tried this, by the way. I've never done it, just heard about it. And it's about time we did. Sometimes the skin really sticks to the garlic. Really thin skin too. Yeah, Tim, uh, on sensor too. I've heard it's really medicinal. Like if you get sore throat and, you know, chest infection or you feel a cold coming on or something or just a cold coming on sore throat coming on right uh just have a spoonful because garlic is serious antibiotics right Garlic upsets your stomach if you eat too much of it, Miss Balloon Hands. Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of things uh, can do that, right? For me, it's uh, fried onions, caramelized onions. If they're not caramelized completely, it uh, makes your tummy go, right? And garlic, too, if you eat too much, for sure. It's a, it's a powerful food. Powerful food. Uh, yuck, the internet says we shouldn't take more than five cloves in a day. Otherwise, stomach pains, bad breath could could be show up. Uh, if that's Google, Google is wrong. <laughs> Do your search on Brave. <laughs> the internet is uh, uh, the internet used to be a lot more right than it is now. Uh, so I would I would dig down if you're doing it on Google uh, go to usually there isn't a 10th page anyway Google's we got the dead internet in the past in the 90s early 2000s when you did a search uh, on Google you could go down to like page 50 if you wanted to right right now try it do a search on Google see how many pages you can go down not very many right and sometimes you have to go down a lot to find what you're looking for or what you heard about right uh, I personally don't use Google anymore I think it's uh, garbage to say the least <laughs> yeah yeah Eldegoss says I eat onions raw and garlic yeah one of the things we do um, like in Iran you do we used to make onion sandwiches and there's this thing called somar, uh, Persian, right? So flatbread and this, and somar is the flower of um, it, of a plant. I forget what uh, what flower, what plant it is. And you have butter, raw garlic, and somar sandwiches. It's so good, so good. Like power food, power food. Yeah, Miss Balloon Hands. I use uh, Brave. I use Brave as my search engine. Liver and onions, so good, so good. I actually haven't done liver and onions for a while. Time to do some liver and onions. Come on. my hands of white this is check this out it gets so sticky right like garlic so hold on let me take these off well oh, there's a couple more here
And I'm gonna have a little snack. <laughs> Are we supposed to be eating healthy? Not today, not today. Cinnamon bun. I went to the bakery this morning, cinnamon bun. Sometimes I go there, I get day old stuff, uh, which is really, and they have it as a great price. So this is uh, two cinnamon buns and a muffin was uh, four fifty, right? And it's pretty good. Is this healthy? Hell no. Look at that gluten. Elder God, you want some? <laughs> Fuck no, he said. Awesome. That's good. That's good. Bon appetit, Yuck says. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Crime town. How's cash acceptance around you, Chicho? How's how's cash acceptance around you, Chicho? People still take money. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I pay. I pay cash only. It, anywhere I go, I ca cash only. Um, if they don't ca take cash, I walk out. And I haven't. During the lockdowns, there were places that didn't take cash. I turned to them. I go, "You guys are idiots." left the left whatever i was getting on the counter i said good riddance to you right but uh yeah everywhere i go cash same with my partner most of the time anyway with my partner with me all the time the the one mat on sensor two. Hey Chicho, been following you for years. I finally caught a live stream. Awesome, awesome. Salute, salute to the long game. Salute to the long game. We actually have places here, like um, uh, that only take cash. Like one of the one at the farmers market, uh, where you know we go twice a month maybe um it's every saturday there's a bunch of ladies there that sell uh middle eastern and mediterranean foods like uh, uh chicken curries and uh what do you call it uh, uh oh god i forget the names now like uh anyway a whole bunch of mediterranean middle eastern food they only take cash and I make it an intention to go there uh, at least once or twice a month to buy products from them, to buy their food. And they usually always sell out. Like they they sell out. If you don't go there early, they sell out of certain things you want. Right? Cash is king, baby. Baby nights, indeed. Cash is king. Cash is king. If you remember, for since i started making personal finance videos in late 2018 and stuff i was telling people to get out of that and get into cash get into get out of that get into cash and people were like oh crazy it's money so cheap i go His interest rates are about to go up right so you're if you're in debt you're pretty much screwed depending on how much debt you're in because your interest rates are going to go through the roof however if you're in cash then straight up you can put your money in the bank right now and get five percent right which you couldn't have done in the past and then people were like oh this is crazy you know you don't want to be in cash cash is garbage no 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 it really depends it really depends i agree to a certain degree you don't you don't want to be all in cash but you want to conduct business in cash you want to be able to conduct business in cash okay Nice. Come on. Ooh. Nice. Good. 
I'm going to put a little bit more garlic in here and then put one one or two more spoonfuls uh, of, uh, of honey and seal it up right honey honey is amazing Sasalito, salutations. Welcome to our Twitch live stream. Uh, hi, Chicho. I've been following you for a long time, so I respect your opinion quite a bit. Do you have any thoughts on the grieving process? Lost a relative nah, that I was very close to this week. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Sasalito. Sasalito, uh, go to our SensorTube channel. I put out a video. Uh, talking about how to deal with grief uh, is that the one Nicholas is that what you're linking up uh, because I'm not sure if you know that I've 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 buried uh, relatives I've buried two brothers that's the way do okay thanks Nicholas uh, so I've gone through and both of them were devastating both of them were extremely intense both of them um, they were totally different from each other it was fucking insane like <sighs> Uh, you know, you got to build yourself back up again, right? Um, so take a look at that video. Uh, just straight up, what I can tell you is uh, if they meant a lot to you, if they meant a lot to you, incorporate at least one thing that they really loved, really loved in their lives in your life, okay? Uh, don't force it, but just start to build an appreciation for it. Okay, that's one thing I can tell you. Um, the other stuff it will be in that video, but it takes a while, man. It takes a while. It'll make you stronger and make you appreciate life a lot more. And you'll look at clowns who lose their temper uh, and spazzes and stuff like this. People who spaz out on life uh who are nothing you look at them and go man what an infant right it, it, it's 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 different it's a different perspective man it's a different perspective thanks nicholas by the way sasalito thank you chicho i will watch that video awesome awesome i missed the chat there that was oh i can't go back up gang if i because my hands are sticky with <laughs> like if there's anything directed towards me that i missed just repost it because the chat is just uh, f rotating uh, uh, and I got three chats open so if I'm missing something uh, my apologies Marco P on sensor tube uh, hey Chicho recently started playing your rapid deal monopoly variant which I stumbled across very fun awesome <laughs> what a great game eh? <laughs> just chaos <laughs> I love it, love it, love it, love it. We need to give props to bees. We need to give props to bees, man. We need to give props to bees. Like this is how much I love bees. One of the first videos I ever made was uh, it was an environmental video. It was about colony collapse disorder. I was like, what? The bees are dying. <laughs> I gotta do my part to preserve the bees. So I put out a video, I don't know when it was, like mid-2000s, I think, about colony collapse disorder. I don't have any facial hair, and I'm walking around, and it was me experimenting with things too, right? Uh, Sasolito, I've never had garlic in honey. Interesting couple. I've never done this before either, but I've had garlic, like foods, like for example, one one food that is phenomenal with garlic and honey is like garlic honey chicken wings garlic honey ribs right i think everybody probably has had you know garlic honey ribs garlic honey chicken wings phenomenal wow if i had a choice when i go to chicken wing place if i'm going to eat chicken wings or ribs garlic honey is usually my first choice right 
tormented Revi on sensitive chicho are you Iranian Persian uh, also enjoy your vids I'm Armenian Persian Armenian Armenian Persian Armenian Persian Canadian Canadian Armenian Persian Canadian Persian Armenian Armo Persian Canadian <laughs> what comes first I don't know <laughs> I'm West Coast Canadian mainly I'm West Coast Canadian as my growing cannabis and and enjoying long walks in the rain probably attest to look at the size of this chunky look at that garlic honey wings is amazing is amazing i'll do one more let's do one more marco thoughts on clean cut versus beard i've personally been uh uh interpret it in very different ways uh, so, uh, uh societally yeah for sure for sure it's a different game i put out a video uh i have a beard playlist i put out a video uh, talking about how society treats you differently when you have facial hair or when you don't have facial hair um and it's and it's amazing it's the difference is amazing uh, it's it's a video I made probably late 2000s mid 2000s and it's me on on a beach uh, with seawalk behind me I got a full-blown beard and I'm talking about some of the differences between being clean cut so-called clean cut and having facial hair uh, one of the big differences is depending on where you are uh, in terms of female attraction there's a lot more females or during that time there was anyway when I was when I, I've always had facial hair not all every now and then I go clean cut but uh, usually have facial hair and I've had a lot of people over the years tell me oh you, you should go clean cut you should cut the beard that's gross that's this that's this that's this I go man you guys are clueless uh, because a lot of girls a lot of female right they don't like or they didn't like facial hair when i was growing it so the number of choices i had for a partner decreased dramatically but fuck those girls those women that love facial hair they make the ones that want they hate hair look like <laughs> like get away from me you guys don't know what's what so in terms of in terms of caliber of partners uh i gravitate towards people that like facial hair because it's a lot of fucking fun uh and it's uh it's a different game you're not playing with children anymore you're in grown-up land right so you got a lot of doors open to you of uh, the type of activities and pleasures you can you can engage in right garlic honey look at this goodness look at this goodness garlic honey well groomed as cheryl says well groomed is the key yeah, don't go messy right it's fantastic yes 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 let's do another one <laughs> but we're gonna do another one of these we're gonna do garlic ginger and turmeric okay so fantastic